on his gravis style when he needs it to be very specific. So we'll go back over to the software again. As we just stay swapped. And we'll go ahead and get a new job here. And in this instance, I'll just put Tom and Tim. You're going to have two lines of text. And he wants to know how we can make something very specific. So up on the top corner, you'll have a pinwheel. It'll be right beside your hand. You'll click on the pinwheel, and then go down here. And these are the options you're going to get. You'll see red, blue, yellow, and green pinwheel on the bottom. You're going to click the red. You can, you can actually look at all of your little options. So when you click on the red, it'll give you some different options, the greens, you know, everything about your actual text itself. But when you come to the blue, the blue is your line spacing. So you'll notice that there are three options. The very first one says fixed line spacing. So that's the one you want to click. So you can go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Sure. All right. So when you click on the flex line spacing, you'll see right to the right, it'll give you a number. What that number tells you is when you are in the first line, if you're in the line of text that you want to be in, that line tells you the exact distance that this line is from this line. So in our instance, it's 0.3694. So this first line is 0.3964 inches away. So if I wanted to change that, I can just click in there. Say I wanted to make it 3 quarters of an inch. When I click on that, it's going to change it to 3 quarters of an inch. And you can go on and do that so on and so forth. So you can click on the second line, change the distance between the second line and the third line. So that's actually how you change very specific line spacing. 